Hello and thank you for installing the QR code generator add-on for Google Spreadsheets. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the brand new feature I have added and that's the support for your own templates. Uh, if you are an existing user that you know that before uh, you were only able uh, to encode one single QR code and one text value in the output document with uh, templates now you can design your own templates and affect how the output documents gonna look like so let me guide you through uh, when you open the add-on and you click the create sample template uh, the add-on creates a document in your google drive and creates uh, this uh, demo sheet uh, let's have a look how templates look like uh, each template is defined in its own Google document and in order to define a template you need to insert so-called the main table. The main table defines then how the output document gonna look like. Uh, all you have to do you have to define so-called tags or placeholders in the very first cell of uh, the table. Here we can see we have four tags. Each tag must be enclosed in double curly brackets. Otherwise it will be treated as a normal text. What's the purpose, purpose of the tag? Uh, basically the add-on then replace all occurrences of the text with values from a Google Sheet. I'm going to show you later how to do that. Uh, now let's focus on the template. So we have the text where you would like to have uh, values from a spreadsheet. Then number of columns in the main template defines how many columns will be in the output document. So in this case the add-on will create uh, three columns in the output document and will place three entries in the per row in the output document. If I remove a column, then add-on would place only two entries per row in the out output document. Uh, then uh, for each tag, uh, or the add-on now is capable to uh, merge two types of values into tag. Either it's, a, it's gonna be a QR code or it's gonna be a text value. If you want to uh, put in a text value, you can also adjust the formatting of a tag and that will be taken into account in the output document. So in this case, the, uh, the product name will be in red and email will be in bold. Uh, as well as you can adjust other settings, you can change background colors, you can insert images, tables, drawings and uh, also you can adjust the page setup. All this I'm be, I will be covering in uh, further videos. Now let's focus on the, this sample template. So we have a template definition, we have a main table, we define the text, and now we can go back to the add-on. Uh, the next step you need to do, you need to provide the mapping. Uh, the mapping editor uh, helps you to map data from a spreadsheet to the text. Here on the left side you can see a list of tags from a template, from the currently loaded template. And on the right you need to specify where to take the data from, from which column and how to process them into, in the output document. So for the product code as a QR, I want to take data from the code column and I would like to process them as a QR code and let's say in medium size. For the product name, I want to take data from a name column and simply process them as a text. There are no more options for the text fields now, so just keep it like this. For the email, I want to take uh, data from the email column and as a text as well. And for email as a QR, we take values from email column, but in this case as a QR code and let's say in small size. We can now save the mapping and as I have mapped all the text to source column now columns now we can generate the output document. Uh, there is one difference uh, uh, when you use templates uh, when you use just uh, 
the old way basically there you made a selection and uh, the add-on encoded the values in that given selection when you use templates the add-on process all processes all rows in a sheet so in this case it processed five data rows and merged them into the output document so as we can see here we have five values uh, we have three uh, entries per row because in the template we defined three columns. We have uh, encoded the code, product code in the medium size QR code. We have a product name in red and bold. We have the email in a bold and the same email value encoded in the smaller QR code. And that's it. Thank you for watching.